what do you want to be when you grow up? What are you doing when you graduate? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What's the next career move? Everyone gets asked some variation of this question at some point in their life. I was first asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, when I was eight years old. And as an eight year old, I truthfully said, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to study quantum mechanics, star life cycles and dark matter. I wanted to go fly up in space and be a scientist. I was a very nerdy eight year old. However, that same year, I took a second grade standardized test and it told me I was really bad at science. I thought maybe I wasn't meant to be a scientist or an astronaut. But you know what I was good at? How about math? It seemed like a pretty cool field and I could do math all day, right? And where could I use my math knowledge? How about at a bank? So in fifth grade, I decided perhaps I wanna be an accountant or even better, how about the CEO of a bank? I mean, why not? The sky's the limit, right? However, it seemed like my teachers weren't too thrilled by my idea. They pushed me towards engineering and the sciences. And since I wasn't any good at science, I guess I had to be an engineer, right? So much of middle school, I said I wanted to be an engineer. And later in high school, I said I wanted to be a computer scientist because that's what my parents are. Engineering and coding are super cool fields. I mean, come on, how cool is coding a robot to do a backflip or building a rover that will land on Mars? I enjoyed building things with my hands and even joined my robotics team in high school, but it just wasn't for me. I couldn't express why it didn't feel right, but it just didn't. This intense focus on my future and my career led me to feel lost. Was I just supposed to continue spending my days working towards some mythical life I was supposed to live? Through a number of years of journaling and ruminating over my own thoughts, the question to guide my focus was, who do I wanna be? It was a very simple question, but one I hadn't considered, nor had anyone asked me. To me, this question forced me to consider what traits do I aspire to have and which ones do I want to work towards, at least for the time being. Do I want to be a kind, honest, hardworking person? It wasn't enough for me to be a kind and honest person once and call myself a kind and honest person. It was once it became internalized, where I helped those around me without second thought and lying to anyone felt morally wrong. That's what this question is about. But why bother asking this question at all? Well, because this is how you're remembered. For example, do you remember that favorite teacher you had, whether now or when you were younger? It's likely not because of where they got their teaching degree or whether they got some certain award, but it was likely because of the person they had. If they were kind, helpful, and patient, you remember that. If they were arrogant, uptight, and unenthusiastic, you remember that too. What about your best friends? Are you best friends with someone because of some extraordinary accomplishment they have? Probably not. It's more often because of the person they are. Who we are is integral to how we interact with people and how we influence people. But who we are does not just affect others, but also ourselves. A number of research studies have been conducted regarding how our personality traits can be the key to our success, our livelihood, and our happiness. For example, researchers in England conducted a study on first and second year college students and found that gratitude can lead to the development of more social supports and less perceived stress and depression. Furthermore, traits such as optimism could greatly affect how long we live. Researchers at Yale found that individuals with a positive self-perception about aging 
tended to live 7.5 years longer than those who have a less positive perception of aging. These are just some examples of the research that has been done showing how our personality traits can affect our entire lives. Switching to focusing on who we are can even help answer the question of what we want to be. When I focused on who I wanted to be, it became abundantly clear what I wanted to do with my life. I wanna be a kind person who listens to others, who's open to ideas, whether I agree with them or not, who is empathetic towards others and forgiving towards them because we all know that life is really hard. I wanna share what I've found in hopes that it will help and inspire others. I wanna be the pragmatic optimist who pushes towards making things better than they are, no matter how hard or impossible they seem. I am by no means that person, but I am consistently working towards it. Knowing who I am has helped me decide what I want to be. It helped weed out much of the outside influences like my standardized test scores, my teacher's opinions, my parents' opinions, and societal opinions. It helped me come to the realization that I want to be a researcher when I grow up, specifically a cancer researcher. I can leverage my love for science and my curiosity for the pursuit of helping our collective futures. As far as it seems that we may be from curing a number of cancers, I believe every little step I can help make will be one step closer towards someone finding that breakthrough discovery. So I challenge you to think about what you want to be. Maybe you want to be a humble, introverted, down-to-earth kind person. Or maybe you want to be a courageous, extroverted, talkative leader. Or maybe you want to be some combination of both. The possibilities are endless then think about what you want to do to consistently become who you want to be. When you focus on improving yourself and aspiring to grow as a person, you'll be able to find what you truly want to do with your life and affect change in the world you live in. Just start with yourself.